Morning. Uh, why the kids drove last? Uh. So, the plan for today had been to go for a tractor ride and cut some firewood. But the case is not set up for doing that sort of thing. Actually, I got some plows on it right now because we were fixing to do the garden. And the Massey wouldn't start. She's old, you gotta be patient with her. So she's hooked up to the battery charger right now, and instead, we're going for a pick em up truck ride up to the wood lot. I got my trusty sidekick with me. He's whiny. Never met a dog that would whine because he's happy constantly. It's one thing to whine a few times here and there, but I'm surprised he ain't whining right now. So, this is a road. I grew up on my house is as you saw just right back there a little bit that leads up to my brother's place and the old farm so like I said I don't even know how far up in we're gonna be able to get I did have some wood drug down to the landing last fall not a whole lot and I think I kind of good chunk of that up the other day or a few weeks ago with my younger boy he uh, got himself in trouble at school <laughs> so he got himself a uh, crash course in doing firewood and running doing a bunch of push-ups he got in a fight and it wasn't a fight over anything beneficial so I figure if you got enough energy to be fighting in school, instead of worrying about your learning and stuff like that, then you ain't got enough to do at home. So he's been doing a bunch of that lately with me, after school and in between homework. He goes to bed nice and tired every night. But I told him he'd have a month of that, and then I wouldn't say nothing about it no more. He's also had to write a bunch of papers. So, for a kid that hates, absolutely detests writing things out by hand, I figured that was pretty apt punishment. He's pretty good at helper though, as far as uh, doing the work that's asked of him without question or complaining. Too much complaining, he's a teenager. You know how that goes. So, here we go, turning up. Like I said, I ain't even sure how much we got up here to play with, but we'll get it figured out. If there ain't enough up here, then we'll see if we can't head back in the woods a little bit and see what's up there. If we can't get up there, then we'll go to another place. But I cut firewood mostly for our family as well as a bunch to sell. Sell being a fairly loose term. Yeah, there ain't a whole lot here. I guess we'll turn around. So this is a logging road that was done a while back when we had some logging done. That's mostly what I've been cutting the last five years. Right now it's starting to get a little on the iffy side, but still good enough to burn in my stove. Just won't be none for selling or nothing. And then you'll always find the ones that just kind of fell down. We might get that one on the way back down. A little ash tree it looks like. Usually, my brother-in-law made me a uh, hitch for the three-point on my tractor, on the Massey. 
usually what I do is hook up a log chain, drag it out, cut the uh, smallest branches off, and then uh, drag it the rest of the way out with a Massey. But I did get a skitter for three point, and we're gonna start using that here in a few weeks. In theory, provided that it don't snow too much or don't get too muddy. Now this road don't lead to nowhere except the woods. There is a clearing back in here, but we mostly just use it for logging and four-wheeling and stuff like that. But this is the north-facing slope of the hill. So as you can see, the snow's sticking around a little bit right now. Today is the 16th of March, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. I should have shifted this down into like second, so I'd just stay in a gear. But, as you can see, it gets us a fair ways back in. Some people complain that I'm taking my truck and the woods and everything. So, this truck is not road legal. And I just use it for doing this sort of thing. Farm work and such like. Popple, maple, junk, that's all popple and stuff that was fell down a while back. Here's a little maple to cut up, we'll do that one. Then what will happen is I'll cut it up today and then later on we'll come back through with a tractor and bucket and get it that way or tractor in a woods wagon get done up that way he's getting old he's nine been run over a couple times because he ain't that bright <clears throat> So, let's see, those will come in handy, that'll come in real handy for what we're fixing to do. A little bit of oil in there, but not quite half. up a brand new jug. Something to clean up later. I like the steel chainsaws. Some people like huskies. I'll give you a hard time over what you run just because it's different than me, but like I've said before, Run what you got, enjoy what you got, take care of what you got. At the end of the day, as long as everybody does best with what they got, that ought to be good enough for anybody. That's pretty empty. Which is a good thing, because you want to run out of gas long before you run out of oil. Otherwise you get issues with your wear and stuff like that. Never thought I'd be glad for these new gas cans. Makes it handy to do stuff one-handed. Glug. Noggin protector. A lot of people are surprised when they find out, if they know me from outside of work, they're surprised to find out that my dream job is 
farming. Or correct that. If they know me from outside of work, they're surprised to find out what I do to pay for playing around on the farm. And if they know me professionally, they're surprised to find out that I like to farm. I don't know. Like I said, do the best you can with what you got. Everybody's got their own way of dealing with stresses of jobs and everything else. Farm is a good balance for me. When you're dealing with the sickest of the sick on the helicopter, or the most injured of the injured, then gets it's an awful nice. So most helicopter services either run 12 or 24 hour shifts. Uh, the one I work for right now is a mix of the two. We do uh, two 24s one week, a 24 and a 12 the next. It kind of helps them balance meeting the needs of the organization with uh, overtime issues. I ain't going to complain about it. I just changed jobs here fairly recently. So you work in HEMS, you either work two or three days a week. HEMS is H-E-M-S, that stands for Helicopter Emergency Medical Services. Um, so that working two or three days a week gives you a lot of time to decompress on your other days, you know, your days off and everything. And that can be pretty stressful. You know, you walk into a hospital that is absolutely unprepared. I told you the dog whined when he was happy. Absolutely unprepared to deal with the level, acuity level of the patient they got. And, you know, you got to almost start from square one or like square negative five sometimes. Because, like I said, they ain't prepared for it. So, they start mismanaging the patient. And then you have to correct what they did wrong in order to get the patient to the care they need in the condition that they need to be in. So, you know, it can be an exercise in frustration. You know, not only do you have to take care of the patient, but you have to play politics and appease the doctor that shouldn't have touched the patient in the first place if they didn't know what they were doing while trying to get done what you need to do in a timely and efficient manner you know and it can just be frustrating and then you get the nurses that are in the stuck in the middle they know that something shouldn't be done or should be done they can't convince the provider you know to do what needs to be done or worse you know they're stuck in the middle and know that something should not be done or should be done but they don't know why you know a lot of times that's because it's a new nurse or something of that sort. And don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing at them. Uh, doctors, you know, if you can't, if you're not well equipped, then you shouldn't be in that, uh, practicing in that field. Unless you're brand spanking new and just ain't had the time to learn it. With nurses, you know, nurses change jobs a lot because, uh, we'll get into that another time, but. There's lots of issues that cause a lot of stressful problems for nurses, so they change uh, specialties a lot. Uh, I'm happy with the one I got. Like I said, I work strictly pre-hospital right now. I work for the ambulance and the helicopter. And the ambulance is nice because I can just go in, and I ain't got to worry about the politics or nothing. I just go in, pull my shift for however long that is, and... Uh, go home, make suggestions, but it's not my gig, so all I can do is make suggestions, and I'm more than happy to just do that. With a helicopter, you know, that's the job that really pays the bills, lets me play around out here. So, uh, you know, I'm more inclined to push issues there and everything else. Not that I've had to. Uh, I can't say that. So, I'd worked for one company for the last four and a half years, but the drive was two hours one way. Uh, so you pull a 24-hour shift, that automatically takes it to a 28-hour shift. When you're getting your butt kicked trying to drive home, it'll make you old in a hurry if you ain't getting into accidents or nothing else. I never really had any real bad accidents except for hitting deer. Uh, I worked there for four and a half years, and I totaled, let's see, one, two, three, oh, four vehicles just because of hitting deer. You know, make them like the old days, I guess. But... You know, back in the days when if you rolled the car, you'd roll it back on its wheels and drive off. Yes, I know people that have done that with 60s and 70s cars. Definitely can't do that today. But, uh, 
Yeah, so we're gonna get this stuff buzzed up, split up, and uh, talk to y'all later.